today we see about how to create custom combo box in our uh, power apps application okay first for creating this uh, type of scenario we show how combo box works in our power apps application okay. here uh, in combo box i have given data source uh, geography where we can able to search in the quiz result on the basis of <coughs> title here search field Close this and select. That's all. Uh, this is about combo box in our application. I have created similar uh, approach for creating the combo box here. Okay. We take a, a similar list like here. If we press here, here we get similar uh, list. Here we take them for this gallery. If you have to search. Here, type of scenario. Let's switch how to uh, create this type of like custom combo box in our application. For that, uh, I will show first how uh, what this is geography list uh, taken a uh, data source here and uh, do one name uh, of the country at so our power app screen. Let's we have. Uh, Go for one blank. We copy word at the text. Okay. Let's add one text input. One gallery here. Let's we take blank. Well, hide here. Let's we add one add icon here. One button. Uh, this that much of controls we have needed for the creating the custom down. We arrange our value. Uh, for now, I have not to focusing on why uh, you change according to you. What? As per user requirement, change change. Given data source to geography. We add here one table. Let's wait one more for selecting text input. We'll view a four field. Let's make it transparent. Okay. Change the design of this. Okay. Table color we make. Okay. This will make it blank. Work color or if power uh, on that. Okay. Can be change all the colors accordingly. Can able to do. For now, uh, I have making all the colors are blank for comfort purpose. It fill color to transfer. Yes, I have uh, done all the changes requirement. So, color pop. Similarly, for four button, you have to make the change. Let's make it color. We go on some First, make this X input to blank. Go for yeah. Go for color. Fine. So text input make it blank. We can be able to one well, and one small one. Uh, 
and uh, let's make it color to white value <coughs> input and uh, now we change this value from here down down arrow color of this ah this by part 2 now we go on function for this it variable or select of this and select of the all the three button on select of the on select bank take there so location Comma. Copy this text in next with the bullion value by giving. So uh, now uh, what happens? And we put a visible property of this. Set that of gallery. The change the visible property. Uh, now we check if I have press here to me the uh, show me the gallery uh, <clears throat> okay, we have to uh, change the on select uh, here yeah, uh, now we go for second part to show if like here display now uh, for that we Select it here. So look. So selected item. Comma this item. Q value to this. Uh, what value user is taking? Value. Now done. <coughs> the text input value say on display default value. How to go here? Fine. So the if apply one condition here. The blank value is blank. What we have here? selected for blank location Now is value is blank. Let's we check out for custom drop down here. Search for for searching capabilities, we apply filter condition on our gallery. Let's we apply filter condition. Item property of the gallery. On item for filtering our record, we use filter function, and after that, we take our uh, data source geography uh, for not coming the 
delegation warning we go for start with function start with for column value where we search title the text put value what we have taken here text in we have taken text in four value that's why we take text in put for dot value put dot text for X. Ah, let's we check our value. Okay, open our drop down. Let's search for space. Space it. Dot value. Let's uh, uh value. So it become false if we select. Uh, let's we set our variable a set where show for location comma false if a user is place if user is select the false value it so it was a it will now if we check user is set uh, it will work properly or if we remove this it was proper locations and details Let's we select Malaysia. Plus Malaysia value. For uh, patching this value, you can directly use <coughs> patch dot text input. This value is the patch automatically to the our SharePoint list for patching. I will this as well. How we can use patch functionality in our app. Let's be back a bit. For saving details, we uh, create one button here and to save. At the save, uh, let's say we for create one collection here for understanding purpose. Clear collect. We name it to locations. All locations. Who takes input to it? Put four. If you go and do this collection, will it save value of collection? Let's go collection for location. Here you can see for value is showing. Uh, that's all about custom uh, combo box. Thank you friends, if you have some questions, you can uh, then message me and connect with uh, on different platforms with me. Thank you friends.